So the letter is saying to Al Hussein, you should come now because we have already made our minds up. We are already gathered. We have already recruited the men. We know what to do. I think at here Al Hussein now sees an obligation to respond. If something is wrong and somebody is saying, I will help you to fix this wrong. This governor is doing prayers the wrong way or Yazid is messing around with the Sharia. We are willing to fix it. We need your help to fix it. What is Al Hussein's obligation? Al Amr bin Ma'ruf or Nahi al Munkar. Al Hussein cannot say, well, I don't know. I don't trust you. I have a bad feeling about you. I'm going to go to Yemen. I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to stay in Mecca. Finally, after receiving all of those letters, he contented himself with one single reply. And he wrote back, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, from Hussein ibn Ali to the believers and the Muslims. Note that he did not say the Shia. He was not rising up for the Shia. He said to the believers and the Muslims. Hani and Sa'ad, who were the last messengers to come, have come to me with your letters. I've understood from what you said that you have invited me to come to you because you have no Imam among you to guide you and you hope that when I come there this will guide you on the right path and in the truth. He does not address it to the Shia of Kufa or the Shia of Basra, he addresses it to the Muslims. And he describes what the role of the Imam is which is himself. It is to guide people according to the Book of God and Sunnah. And hence he sent his ambassador Muslim Ibn Aqil with the message of saying their willingness. He says, I shall, by the will of Allah, come to you very soon. If Muslim Ibn Aqil said that you are united in your goal, as your letter states, then he highlights the purpose and the mission of the Imam. He says, by my life, an Imam is the one who acts upon the Book of Allah and implements justice and follows the path of righteousness. He dedicates himself to follow Allah's commandments and peace be with you. And therefore, the guidelines on to what constitutes an Imam and a leader is mentioned towards the end of the letter. See, so look at the, the wisdom of the Imam. He didn't come out straight and say, look, I'm, I'm going to come to Kufa right away. He says, I'm sending a messenger. So even if someone like Yazid was to intercept all these letters, which he did, he can see that the Hussein is not merely raising an army to fight Yazid. He's really seeing, are the people really going to support me in making wrong uh, disappear from Islam? Is Al Hussein coming out just purely for power? No, because look, when people are saying to him, we're ready to fight for you, he sends his cousin to make sure that what they say is true. He's very, very cautious. Also, he's not coming out aggressively. The Imam is waiting to see if people really want to do this, because this means bloodshed, this means standing up to someone like Yazid.